What's up, Scrollgers? Long time no see. I thought I hung up the cleats, but here we are playing Scrolls again. This is a mono growth deck. Um, as you can see, it's a little more late game. You got the Frost Scales, Verdant Remnants. Uh, pretty old school. Gonna get rid of the early rallying here. Obviously, a turn two Kinfolk Brave is always where you want to be with growth. Sorry about that notification. Don't check your phone. It was me. Unless you happen to also get one at the exact same time. So we are playing against a Decay deck. Looks like an undead variant deck. Uh, these Revenant guys are annoying. Frosty Owls could be pretty good against this deck, as is a Verdant Remnant. This is going to be a tough choice. What do I want to play here? Part of me doesn't want even doesn't even want to play the Kinfolk Brave, because it's a two health creature that a Soul Steal from Decay is really good against. Um, I'm going to get rid of the... Uh, I'm going to get rid of one of the Frost Scales. It might be weird considering he has a lot of low health creatures, and Frost Scales will do a lot of uh, damage to them, but I think this uh, Decay always has a lot of troubled structures, and Verdant Remnant definitely is hard for uh, him to deal with, especially his aggro deck. So this is going to deal damage to Idols. That's fine, because I'm going to want to Fertile Soil that next turn anyways. If I move, I think he dies, right? Yeah. Okay, so pretty clear turn for me, just to sacrifice the resources. Next turn, I'm going to Fertile Soil that. Hopefully, he doesn't Soul Steal it, which I don't think he will because it has Steering Shackles. And the next turn, I'll Verdant Remnant. Okay, and I would like to draw a Quake soon. This is like a more late game deck that has cards like that. So we'll get rid of the Brute here. I'm going to go ahead and Fertile Soil. Easy call there. Get a bunch of cards. Yeah, we're really late game. we got a Jarl or a Halt. So, uh, it's been a long time. Um, I looked on scrolls.com, or should I say it's callersbane.com now, because if you didn't know, scrolls always used to have, scrolls always used to have, um, I'm just going to put this on the bottom, uh, legal issues with the name scrolls because of Bethesda's Elder Scrolls game, um, and I think they won a lawsuit a while back. But now they kind of just gave up, and they're just gonna, they just changed the name to uh, Caller's Bane officially, considering it's not really worth it anymore <laughs> to try to fight that fight. And I don't think they want to have much to do with the game anymore. Because even this game right now is run on a Scrolls Guide fan server. What do I want to do? I'm going to play the, I'm going to play the Sister of the Owl. May as well play a six drop when you can. If he wants to use like a damage curse on it, that's fine. I'm gonna need to draw a quake soon though. Preferably I can do frost scale then quake so that that way I can kill the rod eater without letting it buff up. Okay, he's gonna go for idols here. That's gonna deal a lot of damage. He's pretty aggressive right now. Slightly worried. Let's see what I can top deck. Um, rallying doesn't do that much for me, I don't think. I can do Nognest, Nognest, Brute. I think I have to be sacrifice our scrolls and hope to get a Quake soon. Actually, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice our scrolls. Okay, no Quake. I'm, I could put a Ragged Wolf to kill this, but it's going to die anyways. I'm just going to risk the idols. I am going to put damage here. I'm going to put a Nognest down. This only gets counted out when there's creatures, right? Yeah, it's creatures, so it doesn't matter what order I put this in. And then I'm going to play, I'm going to move this up, and then I'm going to play the Brute. I'm gonna move, I'll position it here. I, he can't play Hex Marks next turn, which is really the only positioning kind of thing you have to worry about with Decay. I mean, there's other, like, poison type stuff. He could, like... Damning Curse's own Blight Bearer or something, but he's pretty low on cards and resources. He's definitely very aggressive, so if I can get a control of the board, I'll be okay. I am stupid. <laughs> I saw that Searing Shackles, or Searing Shackles early in the game, so of course he's going to be running more of them. And that on a structure is going to destroy that idol eventually. Okay. How do I want to do this then? A Frost Scale Ragged Wolf would make sure this dies next turn before it does damage. 
So that's definitely an option. If I go Frost Scale, Ragged Wolf, that's three. Then I play the Brute. Yeah, I think that's that's the move. I'm gonna go for resources. Can I play all of them? No, I have one, three, six. Yeah, okay. I can play another Ragged Wolf, but I think that's a little silly. I'm going to get rid of the Rallying again. I think I'd rather have structures. I mean, the Nognest is fine for the structure because Searing Shackles is not going to do that much to it. So I'll go with the Brute up top just in case. I'm not going to go totally up top though. Be oh shoot, I should have played the... That was stupid. I should have played the Frost Scale first. That was silly. Wasted one health on this Brute. That's just my... Uh, just my scrolls lack of uh, lack of recent experience I'm pretty rusty if you uh, can't tell I saw on the website that it's been five years at the end of this month since scrolls announced it was seasoning development and so that's obviously very sad I was not gonna get the buff from this okay how do we want to deal with this now there's a quake I think it's a little late to quake now Quake's not even going to kill this. So I'm going to actually get rid of the Quake. Although a Quake could be useful for getting rid of my Verdant Remnant, but now it's gone. Don't really want to play another Verdant Remnant. Maybe I can play it on this row. Yeah, I'm going to play it on that row. I can't make that attack anyways. Okay, so... I can make this attack. This is going to kill this. And then I'm going to... Move this down just for protection. Move this down just so it can do stuff. I'll put the Verdant Remnant just to draw scrolls. It's not going to protect an idol because I'm afraid of it playing another Searing Shackles. And then I'm going to play a Ragged Wolf. Unfortunately, the Nognus won't count as a creature to make this count down. So I'm just going to play a Ragged Wolf behind. And I'm going to play it here because I want to protect against the idols. I'm afraid of the uh he can deal a bunch of damage if he has like a couple soul steals here it'd probably be smart for him to just take out that idol because then i'd have to get rid of my burden remnant somehow so what has been going on the past five years um i started college i graduated college fun fact my college application was written about scrolls so on top of me devoting so much time of t uh, to this game in high school for me I actually uh, it may have affected my life even more so than that and yeah so I pretty abruptly lost interest in scrolls after they announced uh, it would stop um, development what do I want to play here I'll go with definitely gonna destroy that these guys aren't really going to attack next turn I think I just have to try to fill the board a bit I'm gonna fertile soil I can make that attack this turn though. Yeah, so if I this attacks for four, this is gonna have only one creature, still gonna have five health. Okay, so then I could just use a ragged wolf to finish it off. So a ragged wolf and a fertile soil this turn? That seems like a good idea. Let's fertile soil this. And oh we have a god hand for next turn. That's gonna be good. So I'll sacrifice the nog nest. And now I'm going to Ragged Wolf here. Take this out. Kinfolk Brave there. And we can really put the pressure on next turn. So I just lost interest in the game after it was announced it was ending development because I couldn't justify putting so much effort uh, into a game that had no future. Um, although. There were some loyal scrollers that stuck around, and I admired them uh, for playing on and off the past few years, but couldn't really do that. Let's see. God hand this turn. I don't think that's the move. I think we get a sister of the... I think I'm going to let him get scrolls. I just don't want him to have units in case he has like a watcher again or something. He doesn't have enough resources to do that anyways, but I'm going to play the Jarl, I think. Actually, no, I think the veteran this turn is definitely the move. We sacrifice for scrolls here is the question. No, I'm going to sacrifice for resources. 
I'm just gonna play the the uh the veteran. Okay. He's gonna get cards, but what can you do? We're just holding him off. This idol is dead in five turns, so he really has. If he he just needs four. He has, if he runs loyal darkling, he might run another searing shackle. There's another watcher. Hopefully he doesn't have a necro get in, but I might be able to win very soon. So I played a bit of the CCG duelist after on this channel after scrolls ended. If you guys remember that? Let's make sure. If, can I win? I don't think I can win. That's five, four. Yeah, I can't win yet. I'm going to go ahead and play the. I'm gonna play the Great Wolf and the Brother of the Wolf. I think. The Yarl, actually the Yarl will deal good damage. I'm gonna play the Yarl actually so I can take at that Watcher. So I'm going to sacrifice for more resources. And then I'm going to play the Yarl here. I'm gonna put the Yarl up top just in case there's some funny business going on. And then my turn like that. So I played Duelist, which was the closest uh, CCG I could find that had scrolls level of board complexity along with the along with the card mechanics of a card game. Because um, too many other games felt just like Hearthstone clones and all that. So I played that for a bit. Should I God Hand this turn? I don't think so. I think I should keep the God Hands though. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna overrun things right now with some Great Wolves. Gonna keep blocking that idol in case he has some weird win con. So, but RIP Duelist, because I saw that that game now is, uh, as of a couple months ago, seized development or the server's completely shut down. Maybe they'll do something like Scrolls did, where right now this is run on the Scrolls Guide uh, servers. It's like a fan site that that Scrolls has, that Scrolls had. So thanks to them that people can actually play right now. Okay, I don't need three God Hands. Although that would probably just win the game. But I'm gonna obviously play, I think, a Great Wolf, Manji Wolf this turn. Quake. Gonna have that just in case I need to take this thing out. So I'm gonna go Great Wolf, Manji Wolf. So that's seven. That's, that's gonna deal eight damage to that idol. That's an odd number. I don't really wanna do that. I'm gonna do it on this, this instead. Okay. So if you want to play, please come. There's a there's still a handful of people online. It's a small community, but it definitely is still going. You can always find a game. Uh, old names that you might remember that are still playing that I see from time to time are Blinky, Franconi, Football Eddie, who's now uh, Valentine. That's the name now. It's a, a small a small community, but it always was a small community at the end. So it's obviously dwindled since then. So I don't know, I didn't expect anything else, but I've been pleasantly surprised at always being able to find a match and people accept challenge matches. Do I have the game now? That's four, that's an idol, that's an idol, that's an idol. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Yeah, GG. So let's go with the God Hand and that's it. Nothing like Winning a game with a god hand as a mono late game-ish growth. So you could just play the game by going to collarsbane.com and downloading it. Uh, it says zero gold here because I, I believe I already am past the challenge match quota of getting gold today. But the gold rate is astronomically high because uh, you have to make a new account so you start with zero gold. And you're going to want to build your card collection so they made uh, it a little easier to get gold. So you can get like thousands of gold per match. And a lot of people have extra gold in the server because of that reason. So people have been really nice to me, like Football Eddie and Franconi gave me a ton of gold to get my collection going. So that certainly helped. And it's probably, um, I probably should just give you all the cards in the beginning anyways, but it's definitely not a huge deal. So that's going to be it for this. I'm not sure who's going to see this video or if anybody's still interested in scrolls, but I had fun making it. Maybe I'm going to do a video soon where I teach my girlfriend how to play scrolls. It might be fun to see a completely beginner play, and she's heard a lot about it, even though she's obviously never played it with me. 
So thanks for watching, and I hope everybody's staying safe. I apologize for any issues in lag and sound in this video because I am currently running on my MacBook instead of my PC because I have no access to my PC right now because of the pandemic, all this stuff, but that's another story for another day. So thanks for watching, guys.